So the goal of this operation is to get the sailors from the Theodore Roosevelt medical ready. All the sailors that we have here have tested negative and are here for the purpose of keeping them safe so they can get back to their mission once, uh, once the, the ship is ready. It's a generally very important thing that we maintain this quarantine, getting that aircraft carrier back up and running, make sure all, we're all good. And also for the civilian population, we're making sure we're not spreading this virus throughout the civilian population, maintaining that good relationship with Guam and the United States. Right now we're in direct support of a strategic asset, and that asset being the Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, so obviously hugely important to maintain freedom of the seas in the Indo-PACOM AOR. And I mean, we're really just working around the clock to kind of make that happen and get that ship out to sea. We do food runs, we take care of the laundry when they put it out, uh, we take care of the trash, basically like hotel staff, just a little bit more involved in their health. We have the Marines here and we have sailors um, also here that help with providing meals for the sailors, uh, getting laundry taken care of, uh, also trash. We, we sanitize before we use things, after we use things, we are constantly sanitizing. As far as my team and my staff, we're kind of the buffer between the civilians and the sailors in, in the hotel. Uh, so there, we have zero physical contact with uh, the sailors in the rooms and we have zero physical contact with the staff at the hotel. We wear our masks all the time, we have gloves all the time and uh, we split up. We have two and two for uh, certain floors on our tower side and then another two for our island side and uh, basically it's a, it's a drop off service so we'll drop off the food at their door there's a paper that we sign and then we'll ring the doorbell and we just keep going. So we don't want to have to really come in direct contact with them. Our policy here working at the hotel is we treat it that the sailors are essentially uh, cleaner than we are. Uh, so when we deliver food or laundry or anything, mail especially, uh, we'll decontaminate everything in our control point. Uh, we'll have gloves and masks, and then we won't be any sort of contact. So we'll basically drop off the food, uh, and then we'll send a PA announcement over. So we have quite a few. The TR sailors are very thankful for what we're doing every day. And uh, when we do AM checks with them in the morning, they just always put a smile on our faces. They've been extremely grateful for us, for the individuals from the naval base that are assisting with our operations. Uh, they're, they're ready to get back on the ship. They're ready to move. And it's just, it's been a great experience so far. We are here in this fight together and uh, it's been great. I've been able to see sailors doing good things, Marines doing good things, communication is going uh, flawlessly. I've just been really impressed with the way that they've worked well together and uh, there I've had zero problems with the sailors working with me. They've just come in with a, a ready can-do attitude and we've been knocking this mission out of the park, I think. Uh, very professional. They're working hard every single day. They're working hard. Uh, it's, it's great to work with them. It's great to see how they operate and for them to see how we operate. Just great experience overall. I am so thankful for this opportunity. It's taught me a lot about patient care, um, just medically wise, just in general, being on the front lines. Um, I'm honored to be a part of such a big mission, the bigger picture. Um, it's not just about me and my crew, it's overall big Navy stuff, and we're proud to do our part. It's crazy, like you're actually helping, and like this is gonna go in a history book. I get to tell my kids that, hey, like I was here. My family, like, you know, they're so glad that I'm out, I'm out here helping people with this virus, you know? It's almost weird in a way that they'll write thank you notes and stuff on the door and you've never met them but you kind of feel like you know them and you know you interact daily with the floor captains and personally we don't even know what they look like uh, but I can totally tell that they're really thankful and think they understand that we're working hard for them.